Well, here we are in early May with our first Cecropia moth to emerge. I missed him coming out of his cocoon, but he is still quite fresh. If you watch his movements, you can see him squeezing his body. He is pushing fluid from his abdomen into his wing veins to inflate them. And when he is finished, he will be noticeably thinner. This can take some time for the wings to fill and then harden, so this is the time when a newly emerged moth is most fragile. Even a drop from a branch they are hanging from, they can deform the soft wing veins, preventing future flight and the entire purpose of these adults, which is reproduction. Here in the final form, and this is a very nice size male, they have some incredible colors and patterns. Let's start by taking a close-up look of his abdomen. Here you can see the intricate detail in his fuzzy scales with alternating patterns of deep maroon and black triangles. We can also appreciate the furry maroon legs, deep black eyes with those wonderful antenna. So let's go outside now and see him in some natural sunlight to better appreciate his beauty. Take a look at the four red crescents on each wing and the fake eyes on the wingtips with pink shading just above. The detail is just incredible, almost as if someone took a fine sharpie and drew all the beautiful lines and details you see along the wing's edges. The back and top of the head, covered in incredibly furry, deep red and cream colored scales, fluffy and soft to the touch. Looking up close at his head, you can see the large fan-like antenna that identify this moth as male. These allow the males to locate the female's pheromones from over a mile away. Female's antenna are much smaller in comparison. So I hope you enjoyed this short visit with our beautiful guest today. This male will not be around for too long, so hopefully he will find a female and begin the cycle all over again. As always, thank you to all of my subscribers, and we will see you next time, perhaps with a female.